What's up guys? It's me, John Pikachu Peacock. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. So, do you guys remember last year, my video on Weekfest where I brought my RWB and my Mazda FD to the show and both ended up winning first in their categories, which was super awesome. Well, it's already been a year, which is crazy. And uh, I wanted to thank you guys so much. You know, I hit like over 60, 67,000 subs, you know, in about a year. So I'm super happy, really, really happy. And thank you guys so much for watching my stuff uh, on my channel. So today, actually, uh, I'm over at Dynamic Auto Works because I'm getting three, or actually two cars here, but I will have three new cars at Weekfest this year. It's gonna be my Aventador and also my R34 that you guys so I just recently took delivery of, which is amazing. Um, I did a full restoration of that in LA, completely repainted the car, inside the, the engine bay, in the, in the door jams, the trunk. I did the whole thing in Bayside Blue, did PPF on the car, an impressive wrap, did coating from Art to Shine, so it looks amazing. So I actually have that here, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit, I already had to mod the car to get it ready for the show. In addition to R34, I also have my Supra, which you guys know is crazy. That's the one that was in SEMA last year at the Toyo booth, and uh, it is completely pimped out now. I spent way too much, to be honest, I spent close to half a million dollars on that car. I went way over budget, but you guys can check it out. I'll show you more of it at the show. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's worth it because it's nuts, it's crazy. And it makes uh, like 1200 wheel horsepower on a sequential, it's super amazing car. Like I mentioned I'm getting the cars ready for Weekfest this year. I wanted to show you what I did to my R34. So check this out, bam, look at that thing. First thing I did, new wheels. The TEs I came with, are nice, but check these out. BBS LMs, 19 inch wheels. And you see the endless brakes in the back. And this is the first GTR ever that's had white face BBS LMs. I think it looks amazing. And of course fitted with Toyo proxies, r 8 rs crazy, right? What do you guys think? Improvement over the TEs? Sheesh, I think it looks amazing. Look at how nice that polished look is. And my TEs were 18s and these are 19s. I think these go better with the car. Probably driving performance wise, the 18s, with that meaty tire is, is better, but sheesh, you cannot deny how good this looks. On top of that, I decided to straight pipe my exhaust. So it's a Grady exhaust, but now it's straight piped. And you'll check out some before and after sound clips on this video, so stay tuned for that a little later on. I'm super happy with this result. I think it looks amazing. It's gonna show really well at the Obsessed uh, booth tomorrow. And also Ron at AR Motorworks for just building these for me. And to be honest, it's really Mark's idea to do the white face on the BBS LM. So, hmm, looks so good, bro. Thank you so much for hooking it up. In addition to the R34, I also have my Aventador. S that's going to be in the Dynamic Auto Works booth and Adam's going to be driving it in and as you can see we fitted the car with a Liberty Walk Swan Neck Wing. It's not on yet, we're in the process of still getting it ready but you'll see these things are super super strong. I'll show you. And of course this is the Aventador that has the Gintani F1 exhaust and this one's tuned with E85. So my dyno sheet shows it's at 760 wheel, still normally aspirated just from the E85 and the straight pipe. Amazing work by Gintani. And it drives and sounds so good. Of course, I'm with my homie Adam here. He's the owner of Dynamic Auto Works. And he's the one that did all this amazing work on my R34 and even on the Aventador. Yeah, he's awesome. So like uh, Adam, uh, on top of uh, the brakes and the, and the wheels, like uh, we also did the exhaust, right? Yes, we did. So you said it was too quiet. So yes, quiet. you know me. Okay. We cut out both the mufflers. Yeah. And it had this weird, Weird valve that was yeah. controlled manually. Mm -hmm. We got that removed, cut that out. Then These old things right here. So we got the rear, the rear muffler, the resonator, and surprisingly, there was no droning, which pretty much did three inch stainless all the way out. Yep. And it sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna put a clip in here for the before and after. Extended the tips out or the tip. Let's, uh, can we give it a fire up and check it out? Yeah, I heard this earlier, so this is not a cold start, but this thing, mm. You'll see, I'll put a before. And then we'll show you, this is what it sounds like now. Sheesh. 
Sheesh. So good, so good, man. You did amazing work as always, bro. Like a lot of pop when you're driving, too. Oh, it does? Yeah. When, you, when you do the downshift, it has a lot of crack on top. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, so pretty much we did the endless big break kit that was actually supposed to go on your R32. Yeah. But the gold would have looked good on the black, but can't can't beat the gold on the blue. Yep, yep. I think it looks good on here. But we st we're still gonna do some some upgrades on the R32. Yeah, so Different gonna, big break kit. Yeah. Look at that blue, Alfonso. You did an awesome job at Premiere in LA. <laughs> so we did all the add-ons for your rubber grommets that you did. Yep. Okay. Everything's all brand new. It's all pretty much factory. Oil this is all it. part of the full restoration. Yeah. Most people don't do this, but. We place all, all the rubber grommets. Some were missing and some were just old. This is a 25 year old car. The ones on the here, I was surprised they had those. Those fit perfectly. Yep. And the main one was the ones on the trunk. So, all new ones, these ones, all new. So now your trunk pops open once you latch it. Dude, it's like the little conveniences in life that you just don't realize that it's so necessary. Your old ones actually just deteriorated. Yep. Yeah, they just came apart. So we got these ones all brand new. This stuff. is my engine bay. Now this is, it's a little busy for our taste, but this is just how old school Japanese tuners work. Fine. And this you know, this good. is kind of OEM plus. It's all still good stuff, it's all gritty. Yeah, it sounds good. I like hearing those second cups go when I'm driving. And uh, I was gonna, I, I mentioned to uh, to everybody that you're gonna demonstrate how strong these, uh, these uh, uprights are on the uh, Aventador. Yeah, let's see. Look at that. Dude, that is strong. You see? Woo! Dang. You even did dips on it too. I did. And I'm a little heavier than you. Like, <laughs> I'm like 205, so. <laughs> oh, look at how good those look. Oh my God. Sheesh. We waited five months with those freaking endless brakes. And it, but the wheels, which usually take a lot longer, or just as long, took five days. Thanks to Mark and Ron. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the R34 out for a little drive and grab some lunch. Cause know we're in the Bay Area, but it is hella hot. It's been hella hot the last three days, like 105 plus. I'm here with my homie Adam. You guys don't know Adams? He seems very mild mannered, but he's got that crazy built drift chaser. The one that was in my episode a, few, uh, a little while ago. Terrorizing the neighborhood here. That's his favorite pastime. We terrorize the street. Here. That's right. Oh, I love it. it sounds so much better. Hey, now that's an RV sound. This is so 
good. Jeez, I can't decide. What do I like better, exotics or JDM? I really, really, really am having a hard time. Hey, bro, watch your dick. Watch your dick, bro. Watch your dick. Stop by and say hi to the Porsche people. Hey. Yeah, oh, they're not open. Oh, yeah, they are. The brakes are solid, huh? These are so good. We should ask the customers here you like the Porsche or the R34? <laughs> <laughs> My boy Maz in here, I've known him forever. He's a GM. Or GSM, GM, soon to be GM over yeah. at Porsche of Fremont. He is the man, okay? Anything Porsche, he's the one to ask, okay? So he's checking out my Nissan Sentra, AKA R34 GTR V spec, and he's oh. tripping out in here. What do you think? I don't know. You don't I know, like huh? It. I like it a lot, but I don't know if I could get used to it personally. But. Dude, it took me a little bit, but. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Porsche fanatic, so you know how it goes. Yeah, but. I love the way the car sits. Right? Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and you were you were asking me, these are the uh, OEM seats. Yes. Are they? Yeah, OEM bucket seats. This is a 25 year old car. Yep, wow. Yeah. 70,000, 72,000 kilometers. So it's like 40 something thousand miles right now. Pretty bad off, huh? Yeah. Drove this uh, in Japan and now it's over here, which is crazy. Congratulations. This is really pretty. Love the wheels, love the uh, brakes. Endless brakes, huh? Yeah, endless. And then you can see the, uh, the Gretti titanium tip for the exhaust. Almost matches the color of the car. Yeah. Love it, the lights. Yeah. Those are the Nismo uh, LEDs. Yeah. And it locks the lock, no rubbing at all. BBS, my friends uh, at AR Motorworks, they built it just right. They won't tell me the offsets though. <laughs> R34, GT3, see ya. someday too it started right here so this is the day july 4 2024 that mazin had the seed planted by me <laughs> let's see how long it takes for him to get one See, that's the thing like you know like for me like you know i've had so many like exotics and and even like uh, imported cars like i had like a 350z and a gtr uh, r35 i mean and Integras and uh, but this right hand drive like Skyline stuff is just so different. It's just a, a new level. And even the same with like the Supra and like uh, my FD. This stuff is really addictive. And I love modding them. Oh, it just sounds so good now. First drive with the R34 after the new mods. Uh, it's way better. The brakes feel super good. They bite so hard, the endless. And uh, I really think that my friend Maz is gonna get one of these some someday soon. So thanks so much for joining me and take care everyone, peace. Two hours later. Okay, from Adam's shop over to Byron, California with AJ and Victor. They're here doing the shoot. Thanks so much for coming in short notice. No, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the car, it looks looking pretty cool in this lighting. These guys always know the best lighting. That's Paul over there. We're gonna jam, we're gonna do some rollers right now. Jeez, look at this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes of how the magic's done by this, this talented individual no, right no, here. No, no, stop it. And Paul right there, look at him go. Look at that. I'm filming you filming my car with the driven art for our homeboy David. Look at that, perfect timing. Happy hour, golden hour. I got my mind, <laughs> I got hour. my mind on something else. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna go to happy hour, I'll go to happy hour. Shots of vodka. Right there. You guys don't know, this is like one of the best times to shoot your car. It just looks so good. Usually now or in the mornings. God, it looks good. Look at those guys go. Filming me, I'm filming you. They're doing their rollers. Or we're doing our rollers. That pretty much is a wrap. As you can see, the sun's about done. We got a ton of uh, cool roller shots up and down this road. This crazy animal here. <laughs> I do okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thanks everybody for watching. Peace. <laughs>